Okay, who's here? Ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the debt. Managed to uh, negotiate it down to something more reasonable. Uh, you can say that. Good to see someone give the trade authority a bit of their own medicine. gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right. Oh. Just get those cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... This can't be right. This sample. It's... Okay. Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in a slate. So it's not from Adrian the... really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Nope. Because if you told me this was a hoax... And it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen. I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Päivä, päivä, tajilta. The sample is not a fake. I collected it from Terra Mark myself. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. Yep. It was. An entire city wiped off the map. The swarms are so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack. But the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there. Faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. That is the definition of an existential threat, dear Lord. So, you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You wanna tell me what your plans are for it now? The circle, huh? Could use a drink about now. Here, the faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Uh, Valkyrie is now following me, you. Is that really her? Hadrian. Percival. My god, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> you know, hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. That's... well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So, were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian. That's... that's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that work up. 
Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's gonna take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti. With both of us. What's the Armistice Archives? What's, uh, what uh, it had, had to do with the uh, Free Star Collectives and Hosvarun? Well, when the colony war came to a close 19 years ago with the signing of the Armistice, three factions were involved in the negotiations. The UC, Free Star, and House Varun. They made a lot of decisions about what sort of tactics should and shouldn't be permitted in future conflicts. All information related to the things they decided should be banned was locked away in the archives. Now, it's possible to get things out of there, but only with the agreement of members from all three factions. And as to what our research is doing in there, well, I'll get to that. The Cabinet's the UC's highest governing body. The President, top military brass, scientific and diplomatic division heads. Any major decision the UC makes goes through them. They're the only real chance we've got of unlocking the archives. So without their blessing, we're flying blind. Well, that's about the best news I've had all day. But before you commit, I want to make sure you know the whole story. Okay, so you have all criminals, Percival and I, right? We're not just researchers. We were military scientists. Ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. War criminals. Place I was hiding out. That was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. Well, it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying terramorphs on the battlefield. Okay, interesting. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the Cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. Galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. The work up's in the Cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But, listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. I... am a clone. Okay. Of a man named Francois Sanon, one time fleet admiral of the UC during the Colony War, former head of the UC Navy. They called him Ve Victus. Woe to the defeated in old Earth. That guy. A title he earned. The program 
I was a part of, it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians. Secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come. Lots of backhanded tactics in the colony war. <laughs> I'm more interested. No. Are there other software programs still out there? I'm the last. Or so A few you of think. My siblings, they passed when we were young. Training accidents and the like. Uh -huh. But most of the rest were deployed to the front lines during the colony war. And they never came back. Not a day goes by where I don't think about what the world would look like with them still in it. The clone of a man. How's that work? A non-trivial amount of gene editing. Yeah. Clone, honestly, isn't even really the right term for our relationship. Yeah. Thanks to the amount of donor yeah, material because that was required to bring me into this world. X he, he had lonely X chromosomes. A few levels. But there's no denying the fact we're inextricably linked. So you got Y chromosome from someone else? He would have happily told you he was one of the greats. Ultimately, though, it didn't matter. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Freestar Collective and UC. Military and civilians. So he must and have been Martian as well. Him, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. So my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. <laughs> Whoa, and I thought my, my family was messed up. Well, my areas of expertise are pretty specific, but messed up families are up there. You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? I know you got dropped into the middle of this pretty fast. No, but I, I think or I, I got it. if you've got any last-minute business to attend to, now might be a good time. Okay, we are leaving. No telling how long the cabinet's going to keep us waiting out here. Uh-huh. There are steroids that result of cloning process. I, I bet that they are from his, uh, her, her father. That's actually a souvenir from my time on Mars. Ah, so Mars the is Red actually Devil's coloring. The I was a part of. They were founded by recruits who'd worked some of Mars' deepest mines. Folks used to adversity. The dust at those depths, it seeps into everything. The human eye includes... So it's, it's because Martian the dust. Red Devils okay. Came from in the first place. It became an unwritten rite of passage that anyone wanting to enlist with the Devils had to do a stint in the mine before they could join up. The devils were always talked about in such revered tones during my training, so as soon as I was old enough, I signed up, and the eyes were my parting gift. I mean, we never spent a lot of time together. He was too busy being fleet admiral to deal with kids. I was raised by a pair of guardians instead. Until his defeat during the colony war, though, he was known as an extremely effective commander. Savvy. Perceptive. That mind opened a lot of doors for him. And for me, too. But Ve Victus, for all his ability, was heartless. Ruthless to a fault. In the end, that's what cost him his life. Sounds like a good military commander. Uh, it's hard to know exactly what might sway them. I'd just be honest about what you saw. A colony wiped out, and a lot of lives lost. Something we don't want anyone else to have to experience. I strain from the amount of reading I've got on the horizon if we succeed. The Terramore project never went anywhere. It couldn't. They are deadly creatures, but they aren't xenoweapons. The cabinet not opening the archives is probably a bigger risk than them handing over the files. That data itself isn't dangerous. Which probably wouldn't be a bad point for us to bring up. 
should the opportunity arise. Then I guess it's just a matter of... The cabinet meeting is about to begin. Albums, please proceed to the cabinet chambers. Sounds like our cue. Yep. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I hate politicians. Welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Well, I'll be sure your commanding officer hears that you've done them satisfactorily. Now then, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice Archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House that, that might be a problem. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. <laughs> Remind me what's the captain in these archives. We need to archive that and find and stop the possible terror apocalypse. We still trying to figure out what we are facing. Yeah. That's quite the leap, Captain. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. Ah, uh, of course. While no of one course would argue you do. that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, Terramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand, we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack. Seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger yeah, and her associates. Yeah, that's, that's going to... I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. I would he's also dead. ask how many deaths the cabinet requires to act. Fifty? Fifty thousand? Fifty thousand was in the because city. Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? Nah. And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Essene has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this terramorph seem at all alarming to you uh, on, 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 no, but I was told it's tissue match once in a Londinio. just taking her word for it as well then hmm so it would seem so then captain given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far if you were in our position would you grant the request made to open the archives? Yes, if the fear is data being weaponized, the Terramorph program failed it to the data, it's not dangerous. And that data may be the key to stopping untold suffering. Greater good is calling. 
You gotta pick up. That? I hadn't thought of that, Captain. An excellent point indeed. The other powers would likely be much more inclined to work with us knowing that. Chief Diplomat. That? That point? Is a good one. Very well, you have my agreement. The galaxy is lucky you were here today, Captain. You and I are in agreement, Chief Diplomat. So, if there are no other objections, I believe we can agree to give our full backing to make the request to... <gasps> well, of course. Okay. Incident. Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Terror morphs. Well, Terror damn. Morphs. More attacks. Just as predicted. Good God. Uh, holy, we need to move. There, there must be another explanation. The, the creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. <laughs> Discreet. The last Discreet thing we street need fight. Is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support. I'll make the order myself. Nearest anti Xeno squad, though, is off world. It's going to take a while to bring them in. Well, then. We'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two, we can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Captain, I'm right behind you. Let's get down there. Yeah. Ah, uh, they have mind Dad. control. <laughs> what are you doing? EM fire, Captain. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's <laughs> stun them. Yeah, too bad there's no more. I could use a workout. <laughs> Thank God you got here when you did. I. I just wish it hadn't come to that. Yeah, what the hell happened back there, Captain? There's no excuse for using lethal force here. Or you could have used the EM gun like you were ordered. These are lives you're playing with here. So get your head <laughs> in the game. Understand? Now, officer, the way those people were acting, I've seen this before. They were under the Terror Morph's influence, weren't they? I... I don't know. They were down at the port, and they just started... screaming. We'd tried to restrain them, get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but... but some of the other officers down there... we couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just... started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Fermonic projection. Okay. Some terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control, turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're going to need to be real careful with our fire, and that we should grab that EM weapon before we head out. Let's do it. Nat's unlocked. Please, do what you can to help them. Oh, that's a EM weapon. Please, drop some of that. I'm hurting just watching you. Okay, gun that was given. It has 11 damage, but I suppose it's going to be like... Much better and on subduing civilians. 
the disruptor didn't do much. Then I don't didn't notice the weapon on the ground. So and and when we had them down, uh, the they weren't cutscene. So I did activate the cutscene by talking to the guard. No time to waste, Captain. Stash the EM and pull some firepower. Let's An move! Evacuation order has been issued for the it's Spaceport no District. It's not real. All citizens are required to proceed to the nearest shelter. You might back up. Don't just stand there. Okay, so this blue thing is actually like, adding up. Maybe Sam has her own weapon now. Right behind you. No, no, he he's much much more powerful now. going to be a f close fight so I think the shotgun is going to be like pretty okay for that purpose Jacob would think of a co helping to save Lou Atlantis. Damn if I'm not proud of it, though. Can you get a moment? Can we talk? You know, traveling with you has been something else. Yeah, something. The best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Well, how non committal of you. Yeah. See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There is a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? I mean, you're right, but I think everyone should at least get out once. Go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There is a mess of ugly up there, but my god, there is grandeur too. 
Space. That great void. That's the stuff for me. I want to be the code that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. Makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. Not knowing what's next. Exactly. You know, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. I couldn't ask for better company. Well, there's, there's dragon. There's dragons, there's one. Okay, so did we kill all of them? Now that we are here... We could actually try to get into the secrets, uh, secure storage for another quest that I've been like off-putting for a long, long time now. Ah, the guy. No, I didn't mess up. Careful of the uh, the security systems. Okay, no necromorphs here. I'm uh, necromorphs. Terror morphs. What, whatever. Same same monster. Different name. <sighs> Guess they weren't kidding about you two. The universe put the right people in the right place. Hmm. Certainly doesn't feel like it. I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. Just glad we could rise to the occasion. Captain, we should report back to the President. Let her know the Terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. Terramorphs. That's a relief. Holy hell. Thank you, gentlemen. Let your people all know how much we owe them today. Yes, ma'am. Ah, there you are. I believe we have some things we should discuss. Yes. Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the Cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Your concerns about the Terramorphs well, consider them validated. Yep. Thank you, ma'am. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, today's events have only clarified our path forward in the eyes of the Cabinet. You will have our full support in collecting the Terramorph data from the Archives, as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the Cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank of Major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Y yes Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. But as you've both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first, we're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and House Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy are facing right now. The Cabinet wants you, Captain, to be that representative. Oh, no. We do. In exchange, we're willing to fast-track your citizenship upon collection of the data. Oh, th th that's good. So, will you help us? I'm glad to hear it. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. 
Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. You're dismissed. Loss of life. Damage I'm gonna go space. check in with Chief Engineer yeah, Kokarni. Start getting a plan that together that for that realize. tape. There are so many different groups across the settled systems, it's hard to keep up with all the work they're doing. It's quite the conundrum you two have uncovered. But we'll get to the bottom of it. It's good to be on the boat. Goodbye. I'll coordinate putting the data to good use with the cabinet. We'll be ready to move as soon as you've got it. Okay, so we are not going to... We are not going together, probably. Captain. You... Yes, sir. I'll make sure they get what they require. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second-in-command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the Cabinet. Chief Yassine wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor, accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the Archives. You do know what the Archives are, correct? Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. So, then you also know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. Originally. Access to the Archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people, the Ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. Okay, why? Are they on the planet, or are they on the other planets? <laughs> no problem, guys. Going to need some electrodes, a tooth extractor, and some sodium pentanol. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't agree you, you, you more. You got right to play as total However, psychopath in this game. Both ambassadors have reasons they won't, or can't, work with us. Are they all, all alive? No. I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. <laughs> Though that doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Ah, the good Ambassador Ratcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Well then, hope she's doing a good job. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened, but my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. You haven't heard about wireless. We recovered some intel we believe should be able to help with that. 
Wireless Lincoln's communication. Also a disgruntled staff member, you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. Ah. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up. You're on your way. Not like. And take these. Chief Yassine wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. That actually sounds pretty promising. Uh, I have a background of House Varun. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Of course. Uh, but there is... another wrinkle. Okay. We're not 100% sure Balmor is actually still alive. Ah! His public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs... But not the kind we Okay, so it could be his cat. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. And if, if he's a uh, dead, but I do if he's dead. Then you search the embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin. If we can ever find them. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. It would at least be a speedier negotiation. I, of course, hope the ambassador is alive and well. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here. This device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Okay. Now... If you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be smart out there, Captain. Lobby officer. Always good to get back to Freestar soil, even if it is surrounded by New Atlantis. All that security, and they still can't protect their own spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Official I'm sorry. Business? Do you have an appointment? Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Ambassador, I can't emphasize how important this is. And who might you... Oh. Ah, good thing we took, take him you're with cold, us. you aren't you? Didn't you run away to help that little explorer's club? Really? An explorer's club. <laughs> Ma'am, I've signed up to help my friend here who's looking to stop a whole heap of needless pain and suffering. Imagine if this happened in Aquila City or Neon. The results would be bad or, let's be honest here, far, far worse. We owe it to our people to do something. It's a disturbing thought, Mr. Ko. And while it is my job to protect the people of the Collective, 
The way to do that, I believe, is clear. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? You're really gonna push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. I'm listening. You know that for sure. That is interesting. Hmm. Coes do have a way with words. Imagine how it'd look if the next attack occurred in Freestar space. Well, lot worse. I can tell you that. Ah, okay, so now we are using alt auto special. Towards better relations. I could see some value there. Well, Captain, you you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm gonna need the following concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. If you go in once, you get everything you need on your trip and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Freestar scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? Excellent. Follow me. They tell me it should only take a moment. The prototype equipment. And there. Armistice code machine. Okay. Here, I'll reach out to Deputy McIntyre. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. To unlikely allies, I guess. Are you training for some sort of weightlifting competition? Yep. Actually, no. In this game, you can actually uh, sneak better if you don't have a spacesuit on, which is kind of makes sense. Yeah, it, it might be that Zelot's actually killed him. I mean, is it supposed to look like this? With Varun, you just never know. Here. 
hell that's mystical I'm, I'm getting so much fallout vibes Scripture. Oh, oh no. Ah, uh, not a grenade. Thank you. Morning authorized personnel. Oh, okay, that's it. Punishment becomes providence. <laughs> A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Okay, but what what did the Serpent's name happen here? At least he got food. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a Yellow grand eyes. tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. Venom but then tree. again, who could cage such a beauty? Eh? Uh huh. Tell me though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? Harmless spores, you have my word, but uh, hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through the intercoms to restore the environmental controls. <laughs> and release me. It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this exact moment. But I must know of the rest of the city. Does it still stand? <sighs> is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. Yep. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh... Ah... <sighs> An archive code. Yep. So the UC requires information then. On terror morphs, presumably. Hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yeah, this that, that's a, that's about it. Serpent's Empress, yo, so, so this is this is my background. I said the UC and the Great Serpent incoming here then could could be used to defend us all. I was not expecting a fellow believer on my doorstep. The preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the Archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But, if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. 
For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. Yeah, we have only had Rian's words that it's not really a dangerous information. In the name of Kerry, Great Serpent House Rams code will be used to protect our good name. Create the legacy that our people deserve. Please, follow me. This is pretty good background. Also, family was pretty good background. <sighs> Let's hope it still works. And there. Is all that junk really necessary? Let it be used for good. That's a VHS. Antiquated what video they wow. Will we all be so lucky next time the archives need to be accessed? Something to think on. It was tolerable, even pleasant, when my brethren were here in the embassy with me. We remade this place as best we could into a home we all would recognize. Our native flora, our iconography, our connection to the serpent, they came with us. With my brethren gone, it has been trying. But the great serpent has always provided me a path in my darkest moments. The affairs of House Varun are our own. They left. That is all there is to be said on the subject. House Varun committed itself to the armistice. This was said at the time to be the desire of the Great Serpent, and I do not believe the Serpent decides such things on a whim. So, when my brethren left, I remained, honoring the Serpent's will as I saw fit, as is the right of all his followers. The Great Serpent is so much more than a god. It is fate itself. When our founder, Jinan Varun, left the United Colonies a hundred and forty years ago for distant stars, it was the Serpent that compelled him to found his now great house. The Serpent made us who we are today. Its voice speaks to us, shepherding us through the dark and infuses our lives with the meaning the universe so often fails to provide. It's good to be on the bar. Well, lives get stuffy sometimes. So this is the log of the... Captain, you're back sooner than... Easy. Oh, wait, did... 
Did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe? And Balmore? We're all in agreement. Balmore's alive and to, to yours, to, thanks to yours truly, and yes, I got his code. You saved him. You Vanguard really do take that above and beyond thing seriously, don't you? Fine work. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? Yeah, sure. Absolute best behavior. And after the UC Navy's defeat at the Battle of Cheyenne by the Freestar Collective's ragtag fleet, both sides decided the time had come to bring the colony war to an end. So, the two parties came together to negotiate the terms of the armistice. Fleet sizes would be capped, mechs and xeno weapons outlawed, and the all mechs are on to those fields would be kept under lock and key in their own special archive. Which actually rests below our feet. And It's a punch card. All punch cards are... Well, you could fake them. Super complete. <laughs> super, super technology. Okay, so there's lots of information. Captain, Deputy told me what went down. Impressive work. Captain, if you'd be willing to transfer the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing what comes next. Time for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. I met someone from a society. Can you ask this? data will be used for good. I... Yes. It will be. Percival and I have done our damage. This... This is us starting to put some things right. So, with the data out of the way, we've been discussed... The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, yeah. seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Though, it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Yes, please. Captain, if you'll follow me. Yes, please. This is nice. So basically, the city area can be seen here and the rest of this is... What are you doing? I don't know about you. Later. So the rest of this is actually procedurally generated. Funny thing that they can actually have a both uh, hand build and procedural generation on the same map. Useful. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Yes, please. Good. 
This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Sure, if I they were. And then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Ah. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. Okay. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Okay. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this. But we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. And they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Let's hope it never comes to that. I'll take it to, to the elevator. Crave. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. Okay, lots of money. My friends like these. Subsection 7. No. I have wanted to test this for some time now. Apparently you should, you should be able to glide <laughs> down to the your own ship. Of course I don't have a, a much of skill with the boost back, but it should be still possible. Basically doing su suicide burn here. That's a sprain, but it's possible. Wow, it's it's possible. Okay, Sam, how are you here? Okay, that's a fast way way around. But we need to get to the 